So, you know, fast forward to about uh, 2008, I suppose, when social media started to take off. What were your first impressions when Facebook um, and Twitter showed up? What, what were your thoughts and observations? Yeah, and I have to admit, I was like the last one of all of my friends to be on any of the social platforms, right? Like, I'm not the early majority. I wait until like the early majority has gotten onto it so I can monetize people from it. Um, so I really was like the last person who was on Facebook. I was on MySpace, of course, because we had to do a lot of our promotion uh, for the nightclub venues through that. And really, I looked at that as just a distribution channel for us to be able to get things out. Um, but when Facebook came out with the Facebook apps, uh, which enabled us to build landing pages on Facebook, um, we turned our nightclub venture, right, Untitled Management, we basically pivoted that into another company called Tabco. Um, and I started building custom landing pages inside of Facebook. So you could get a business yep. to create a fan page, it would then go to that landing page and we would create all those custom pages for them. We would create contest pages. We create all kinds of stuff. Um, some other companies that you might've heard of, there was a company called Buddy Media that was really syna yep. successful there. Uh, Synapse was another really successful company. Um, I'm forgetting the one that was starting by Nathan Latka, um, Lejour, uh, he, he owned Lejour. Um, and I was, I was involved with all those, those kind of companies, except for we were hyper-focused on custom dev ones, not having a platform that did it. Um, Short Stack would be another company. So we did a lot of Facebook app development, a lot of Facebook uh, promotions. Um, an interesting stat, um, the Orlando uh, Humane Society, we helped them get over 12,000 animals adopted through their Facebook fan page uh, in a year. Um, so like I worked a lot with social media, but I was probably maybe two years late to the real Facebook and Twitter party, maybe three years late to the party. I just turned it into a business and that's what I focused on for a couple of years. Yeah, well, uh, social media, it can be a huge time suck personally as well as business. So, um, yeah, uh, back Well, Facebook put me out of business. So I have to admit that. And that was the best life lesson that I ever learned. <laughs> Facebook decided they were getting rid of Facebook fan pages and I was making all of my money off of Facebook fan pages. That's where all of our subscription right. revenue came from. We got a heads up, luckily six months before they were going to kill it. They told everybody else about 90 days, 30 days before they were going to kill it. And then they got rid of them. Well, as you can imagine, when Facebook fan pages start to go away, everybody cancels their subscription. Um, mm -hmm. So I learned an important life lesson is that like if all of your revenue is coming from like one part of a company like that, that's so young and so new, and they change that feature, you can lose your entire business. So there will never be a time again that I ever invest that much energy into one feature um, from a company because even Buddy Media, I think they got bought for 200 million. They were vaporized in a matter of weeks. I think Oracle or somebody bought them. I can't remember who it was, but two hundred million dollar investment that a year later is completely gone. Right? That's it's just a hard way to be in business based on one feature from a company. Mm -hmm.